Breaking news. Alerts. Evil's leaders are after Nabikan's life. Chase them out. Lawyer raised alarm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my lovely and wonderful subscribers. How are you guys doing this morning? This is breaking news. News in details. The hand. Namikano's lawyer tells Yoruba in Lagos how to chase Igbo away from them. See how. In a powerful statement, a lawyer, Ejimako, the prominent lawyer representing Mazin Abikanu, vocalized a firm stance against the alleged mistreatment of the Igbo community, particularly in Lagos. Ejimako emphasized the need for the more dignified approach and called for a referendum of Biafra on Biafra as a means of to address the concerns raised by the Igbo people. The lawyer expressed deep concern over the reported demolition of properties belonging to the Igbo community, labeling it as a cowardly act. According to Ejimako, such actions contribute to the sense of oppression felt by the Igbo population. His assertion urged a departure from these aggressive tactics and also advocate for a more respectful and indulgent dialogues. Ejimako underscored the, the significance of conducting a referendum on the issue of Biafra presenting it as a viable solution to address the long-standing grievances of the Igbo people. By calling for a referendum, he proposes a democratic and transparent process that allows the Igbo community to voice their opinions on their status within Lagos of Nigeria as a whole. The lawyers emphasizes on stopping the demolition of Igbo properties aligned with the broader call for justice and fair treatment. He asserts that this form of alleged oppression only serves as serves to perpetual or perpetuate a circle or disconnect the resentment within the Igbo community. Furthermore, Ejimako addressed the broader historical context, referencing the program and also the historical injustice expressed by the Igbo people. By doing so, he highlights that the depth of the issue at hand as suggests that the time was come. The time has come for a comprehensive and respectful resolution. The reference to Nigerian as an open-air prison for Igbos paints a vivid picture of the perceived constraints and challenges faced by Igbo community. Ejimako's choice of words aims to evoke a vestigial response, prompting readers to consider the severity of the solution and situation. The overarching message from Aloy Ejimako is a plea for understanding, empathy, and also a commitment to finding peaceful and equitable solutions. By advocating for a Biafran referendum, he, popo he positions dialogue and also democratic processes as the pathway to resolving the long-standing tensions and addressing the aspiration of the evil people. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. A.G. McCall has written, he says that if you want Igbo, if Yorubas want Igbo out of Lagos or out of Nigeria, they should stop demolishing their, their properties. They should stop demolishing their properties.
That is cowardly. Instead, did you do a referendum on Biafra and brace for the resounding result? Until then, then stop turning Nigeria. Did you stop turning Nigeria into an open air prison for the Igbos? That was what Ijimako suggested. Asking, he asked the Yorubas to to chase the Igbos out of Lagos and if possible Nigeria. So viewers, what is your take on this news I've just heard? Your comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button for more updates. Thank you.